Good morning to you too. Hello everyone and welcome back to another week of, today is Tuesday, right Pudge? And you know what Tuesday is? Any guesses? It's bath day. So unfortunately Pudge has a little bit of a wrinkle. Oh, you can't see it with the sliding. Let me see. I know, I know. He has a bit of a wrinkle infection. So I'm going to be giving him a bath. Is that your nervous lick? I know, he doesn't like the word bath. Do you wanna give everyone a high five? High five, high five. Yeah. Oh my, no, you guys, I know, baby, I know. It's very hard to be a Don't shake. Don't shake. Ah! Hold on. Oh my word. I know. You hate towel drying. You little cutie. You want to show them your face? Show them your face. Hey. Ah! You're so dramatic, child. You're going to shake again. So the audio might be a little bit weird because I have been filming on my iPhone the whole time, but today is filming day. Um, if you watch every video on this channel, you probably know which video I am filming today and it is the... Um, whatchamacall, all of the variegated plants in my collection. It's actually so wild to see them all next to each other. Like, I've actually never seen them all bunched together. Some of them are obviously happier than, than others, but they're just so cute together. So anywho, I'm going to try and film a little bit of the behind the scenes of filming today, um, just because I edit out a lot of like bloopers and mistakes and you know times where, where I just get like really frustrated so if I am feeling that way today um we'll see what I get but yeah today is filming day and then I have one thing on my to-do list today and we will jump right into that as soon as I'm done Starting is the hardest part. I feel shy. Look at the camera, not the viewfinder. Oh my gosh, it's all boobs. Why? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> hey guys, we are back, and I'm joined here with my trusty and freshly bathed pug. Much. And um, I 
I just wanted to... But before I pull the first plant out, today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Pudgy, you're snoring, babe. If you use the link in my description... <gasps> no, that's not what it is. All right, so I am done filming and um, I'm feeling good about it. I, I have a very, very tight deadline with Skillshare, so I need to get this video literally edited and up in the queue by tonight. So there's not gonna be a lot of plant stuff today just because I really, really have to get going on this video. But you guys know that I have been dealing with a thrips, spider mite, and mealybug issue over the last year and I have been working tirelessly to get the collection under control in terms of the pests. So right now, honestly, the spider mite situation is like, I'm not gonna say non-existent, but just compared to what it was before, it is so manageable. It is just like amazing. Like it's like a hundred times better than it was before, but I still have a little bit of a thrips issue in my big XO, the one that has like an open front. And because there are no doors on that thing anymore, I do worry about them transferring out onto my Ethereum shelf. So far, I have not seen any new thrips on that shelf. I did have a little bit of an issue before, but um, again, they've all been sort of contained into the big XO and I filmed the video today and I really thought I had it under control, but I did see a good amount of thrips on my variegated oxycardium and I actually didn't even notice until, I didn't notice how bad it was until I stopped filming, but like you guys can see how bad it is. Hopefully it picks up, but they are all over this leaf. Like they are just multiplying. I am going to treat this one four thrips and just see if I can get this under control. So I am going to, I think, take a lot of my plant out of the EXO um, into that shower. I'm just gonna give everyone a good shower. I'm going to do a thrip spray and then I think I'm gonna end it with an Azimax spray. I have done that combination before with no any effects on the leaves. So um, yeah, I've already done it. I am feeling okay about it and that's what we're just gonna do today because I'm just like kind of tired of seeing these guys everywhere. But honestly, it's kind of nice to see thrips and not completely freak out. It's just, yeah, it's like a nuisance. So anywho, that's what today is gonna be. I think the focus of, I'm gonna stop touching this plant. I think the focus of this week's plant to-dos are going to be um, like getting organized. So I need to go into my plant room and just kind of go through my supplies again and see what I don't need anymore because I have a Mars Hydro light that I am never gonna use because it's so strong and it's made for like those really big greenhouses um, or someone with like a whole room that needs to be lit and I don't necessarily need that kind of light in my plant room. And I have like a closet of just Domia lights that I don't use anymore, like the flat panel lights that I don't use anymore. And I just have all these random things that are taking up storage space. And since we are heading into winter here in Canada, I think it would be a good time to try and sell some of these things in case other people want it. 
I did just splurge a little bit on Amazon. I had to get all of Pudge's Halloween costumes. I bought more Barina lights and I'm out a couple hundred dollars and it would be nice to try and recoup some of that money back. So yeah, this week won't be so much focused on plants. We'll still do a lot of plant stuff for sure. Um, but I really, really want to dedicate at least half of this week to just getting organized in there and getting cleaned up, getting, I don't know, my space back. And I don't know if you guys are having issues with space and you guys have been collecting plant things that you don't need anymore. Maybe this will help motivate you guys to declutter and to just sort of purge things that are weighing you down. So anywho, that is going to be sort of the theme for this week and then we'll do some other little plant stuff here and there that need to be done like pest treatment and pest prevention. And then I think at the end of the week we will do some watering and I will take you behind the scenes when Alice comes over on Friday to do a filming. That one is going to be a very very fun one. We're filming the part two of the tortilla slapping video. so. Gotta get my face ready. But anyway, enough blabbing. Welcome back to another week of, um, hopefully it is a good one. Um, it is Wednesday and I'm not gonna lie, I had a really, really <laughs> rough night. I did meet that deadline that I was talking to you guys about yesterday, but I haven't felt stressed like that in a really, really long time. And I think, yeah, my just, my anxiety got triggered and I could not sleep. I was tossing and turning, I had a panic attack. So <laughs> in the middle of the night, I like stumble over to the kitchen. I take my, you know, my... And then I had a little too much and I was just too, too lit, a little too lit. I have not been that like that in a long time. So it has just been a rough night, rough morning. Um, I started to put my makeup on and then I gave up halfway. But anyway, um, I started my period today, TMI. So my body feels physically ill, like my body wants to just lay in bed, but my brain is like so much to do, so much to do. And I actually have a lot of motivation. I want to do these things, but it's probably going to take a long time. I'm going to be very sluggish, but today's to-do list is pretty ambitious. Um, just to give you guys a rundown, because I probably won't be talking too much during filming today, just because I, again, I feel like crap. Um, you will see behind me just pure chaos. So my big EXO back there with no doors is the one that has the thrips. And um, I am going to just completely gut it. I'm going to take everything out, 
all the leca all the moss everything and i think i'm gonna do what my mom does with her exos and just do straight water at the bottom things do get a little bit gunky but i think that i would much prefer that so that pests don't have a place to hide inside of the moss and um like fungus gnats have been sort of like around that area so I'm just kind of done with the moss and the leca in the exos and I just want to do water so I've got to do a full clean um, I do still have plants that I treated for thrips in my shower I'm going to off camera just spray it down quickly with Azimax and then um, get things sort of back inside I might try and get a grid up in the exo because it looks a little bare and then oh my gosh and then a little later i will show you this massive moss wall that i made for that exo that i took down and i'm going to completely disassemble it you know reuse the moss and um just get things put away because it's just been sitting in my plant room for a while on top of that i need to get all of this cleaned up and yeah i think I think that's what I'm gonna do. It kind of doesn't sound like a lot, but it is. The exo is gonna take me a little bit of time and I don't know, there's a there's a few other things that I wanna do. I just don't want to say that I'm gonna do it and then end up not doing it. So we're gonna start there. Hopefully I'm able to get through everything today. And I think during this whole thing, if it is time lapse, um, I'll either throw blurbs up on the screen or I'll just like pause and kind of tell you what I'm doing and then I think at the end of today I want to um, Just give my propagations a little bit of love and kind of show you what's going on with some of my props and then we'll call it so <laughs> Yeah, that's what today is um, It's gonna be a busy one
So this grid is in, I think this one is 12 by 24 and you guys saw that I was trying to fit my large grid in here. It was a, bit, like, it was a little bit too big so I'm just going to settle for this for now and then um, get things kind of on a riser here on, in this corner and then have things lower here so that I can hang stuff up there. So what I'm going to do now is just get all of the plants loaded back in. I'm going to water and uh, then we can fill the EXO with water. So my ADHD has officially taken over. <laughs> um, when I'm doing stuff like this, I really try and stay focused, like don't get distracted. The thing that I said I was going to do was load everything in, but then I saw this guy who currently has thrips and um, if you watched my variegated plants video, you'll know that I wanted to get these cut into single nodes and also I wanted to try and trellis part of the plant as well so instead of loading it back in I'm just gonna do it right now and this is how the chaos this is how it starts it all starts like this sorry for the complete shite angle but um, my plant room is currently a mess as you can see so I cannot work on my table oh my gosh my cramps are so bad ah. 
Um, this moss has thrips, so I am not going to put this in my moss bin. Uh, where am I gonna put it? So overall, I think the EXO cleaned up really nicely. It was so filthy in there. To be fully honest, I'm not really used to the look of it looking so bare, but I think once the plants are in, I'll feel a lot better, but I don't know, just look kind of barren. But at this point, I'm kind of like willing to do anything to keep all these pests at a minimum. At some point this week, I think I should do a thorough inspection on my anthurium shelf as well, just to kind of see what the spider mite situation is looking like. But it's definitely gotten better. So that's a humongous, ginormous relief. At least this has started to root now, so it'll definitely expedite the process. I'm slouching. Ow. I need, I honestly need to get one of those braces that you just wear so that you're like s not slouching. It just doesn't feel natural or comfortable for me to like sit up like this. It feels weird. So we've got lots of pond roots, lots of, lots of moss roots. I think I'm gonna get the bottom cutting onto the trellis, the architrellis, and then I will get the top leaves cut into single nodes which will eventually be turned into a hanging basket or a trailing basket. I'm just, yeah, like I mentioned in my variegated um, plants video, I just can't keep up with how um, fast this grows and in theory I would love to have it grow but at the same time I have to be realistic with um, what I'm willing to maintain and this was just not working so. I am quite excited about the idea of one climbing a trellis and I think I'll put the trellis one, I don't actually know, I know I want to put the hanging one on my shelf in my living room but obviously I'm not going to put it out there until the thrips thing is resolved but I don't want to keep this in my um, my EXO because it's kind of a waste of space. All of this is rooted. So how about, I'm going to chop it where the rooting ends, which is right here, and all of these bottom leaves will be the starter for my trellis plant. I need a scissor. I'm going to chop right here. Oh, actually, oh, you know what sucks is that this is going to be exposed out of the um, trellis. What do I want to do? Do you guys know what I mean? Like, if I get this anchored on a trellis, all of these roots are going to be exposed. So, I could put this on the trellis. That kind of makes more sense. Okay, change of plans. I have this root system right here to sustain these leaves. So, I'm going to chop right here. So this will be my trellis plant, but I don't need it this tall yet. So I think I'll chop maybe right here. And then I'll maybe do single node cuttings for this one to get the hanging basket started. And then this will also be, oh wait. And then this one will also be part of my hanging basket. Wait, what did I say? <laughs> oh, here. Trellis plant. Trellis plant, hanging basket. I'm gonna chop here since this is already rooted for these two leaves. And then I will chop again at this leaf because it has its own root system. And then these two will have this root system. So let's do the trailing basket first. Kind of sucks because I've got pond roots and moss roots. So I've got to pick one or the other. I really actually like how it was growing in pond. It was doing really well. So I might try and do pond conversion for the cuttings that have moss roots. Oh, itchy. I just need to take off as much of this as possible so it doesn't get gunky in the pond.
Why are you tangled? Hello? What is happening? So I'm gonna be using this vessel for the trailing basket and I know it's not pretty, but I will eventually get a cover pot for it or I probably have a cover pot around here somewhere. So I just need my pawn. Where's my pawn? Oh my word. <laughs> Come here. Okay. Guys, I feel like I'm sleeping with my eyes open. Like, I look like a ghost right now. <sighs> Why me? Here is the beginnings of my trailing basket. Hopefully it roots that one, this cutting in the back because it's unrooted. Um, if I notice that it starts to get really wilty, I will, <laughs> I will um, remove it and just water root it. But um, yeah, that is that. And now I need to, ow, jeez. Now I need to do my trellis guy, which is very exciting. Soiler pond, soiler pond. Um, I would like the idea of doing mo moss. I like the idea of doing soil because it already has moss roots, but I have been growing it in pond and I am enjoying the growth on it. And it's been really, really fast. But how do I feel about this transition? Very, very thin roots, but okay, these are pond roots down here, and then these are moss roots. Hmm, okay, we're doing pond. We're doing pond, but I need a nicer vessel for this one. I can't just shove this one in a plastic pot. <laughs> How come I don't have any vessels? What is happening? Someone needs to get kicked out. Who is ungrateful for their home? I'm thinking this vessel with this size trellis, it's one of the larger ones that she gave me, just because I want it to be able to like go pretty high and then I'll loop it back around and then just keep going around and see how long we can keep that up for. So Era did mention, cause I was talking about the different sizes in um, my previous video where I talked about the trellises and I was saying how like some of them are too big or too wide for some of them but she said that actually like she made them or they're kind of built to be flexible like this so that you can pinch it in and it's actually like more stable when it's pinched in so I am gonna do that with this one and just sort of cinch it down at the bottom so I think I'll have it going um, let's see maybe like this or like this, I'll clip it here and then have it grow that way. Sure. I need my clip, you guys. I'm a hot freaking mess. Okay. Oh, this one is like, I think I need to move it up more. doing <laughs> whenever I use my left hand to do something my right hand is always like confused like hey 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 let me do it I think this is good enough I don't want to do it too high mostly because I don't want to use my pawn <laughs> she's stingy okay so we're just gonna check for some the right this is I did do a treatment on this one last night but you know, they just hang out. Okay, so far, not seeing any thrips, but you know, we know with the larvae, they're there. So it is in and I love it, it's so adorable. Um, I don't know exactly where this is going yet. I'm not putting it in my XO 
but at the same time I need to keep this separate so I might just stick this in a room that does not have a plant around it maybe um, somewhere in my kitchen or something like that because I do want to display this it's so adorable but I do need to still be sort of cautious of the fact that she's infiltrated let me tidy up here and then we will just get straight back into working on this exo just had to take a little detour really quick just to satisfy my ADHD and now she needs to go away go away So it's filled. Sorry for the crap lighting. Um, it looks wild and crazy in there, but honestly, these are like the most random plants in here because I'm trying to keep all my thrips plants in one area. So I would have liked to have, you know, these plants in different places, but because they are all um, still in like rehab mode or uh, isolation, isolation mode, I do have to just kind of shove them all together and make it work. But um, now that the EXO is clean, I kind of just want to leave it without water. I don't really think it's necessary at this point since there are no doors. The water isn't really going to uh, increase the humidity by that much. And these ones don't even really need a ton of humidity anyway. But otherwise, uh, everything is in. I ended up moving my Campo in here. And then I hung my philodendron Holton, holtonianum and then my elbow on the grid and yeah this one's done but i have so much mess so i'm going to time lapse cleaning this up and then we are going to start disassembling this and when i told you guys i want to organize stuff this week this is what i mean this closet right here and this closet is my main focus this week, but I feel like I just need to get everything else in order before I can even think about doing that. So let's clean up and then um, make another mess.
tired. I'm so tired. I cannot do this any longer. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have enough energy to disassemble this um, moss wall today. If anything, we can do it tomorrow. I'm truly, I'm pooped and my cramps are getting worse. So I'm really just like forcing it right now. And um, it does not feel great. So I think the last thing I'm going to do for today is kind of do the same thing with my, what is this, Rio Silver Stripe? Rio? Rio? Am I yelling? <laughs> I don't feel awake right now. Um, I'm just going to chop them up into single nodes. I was kind of thinking of doing the trellis thing again, but I, I don't know. I'm just going to try and make a little basket of it, but I'm going to have to... Whoa, propagate this. Oh, um, one thing I will show you before I sign off for the day is show you my little propagation area and I actually need to get it cleaned up because the water is looking a little gunky. <laughs> you can't see anything. Better? Sure. These are the tiniest little roots and it is so packed in here. I don't even know if it's worth trying to untangle since I'm going to be cutting them into single nodes anyway. Ugh. Okay, well, you know what? How about this? I'm just going to chop because this is getting too difficult. So I'm going to chop here. And then I like this little root here. I think I'll just leave the top like this and as for the bottom I'm not gonna waste my time um, trying to untangle this for one node so I'm just gonna rip it apart and I think I want to water root all of these anyway because I do want to grow it in pond all right I'll leave this as a double node so um, I don't know why I got all set up here just to cut up that plant. But I think now I will, I don't know if I want to put this in my prop area because there's so many. Actually, no, here's what I'm gonna do. Wait, I'm gonna put them all into this pot that has holes down at the bottom. And I'm gonna let them callus for about 15 minutes. And then I will take you guys over to the prop area and just kind of show you what I did. Um, this is by no means. Um, trying to like inspire you guys to do the same. I was just kind of showing you how I had something and um, instead of getting rid of it and being wasteful, I found a way to repurpose it. So it will all make sense right now. Some of the things look really sad in here, but this is Pudge's old water bowl. My mom got him this, um, it's like a filtered water thing but the filters don't last very long and they're kind of expensive and when you don't replace them like every two weeks it gets really really algae ridden so I just decided to turn it into my prop area so I took off the top where like the water comes through and I left the filter on so that all of the water is just sort of like circulating and filtering and I don't have to replace this water as often but um, yeah, it is getting a little bit musty now, so I'm going to replace it. But instead of putting the props straight into here, I just put them into slitted pots so that they all kind of stay a little bit more stable. And if you're wondering, yes, this is that begonia I just repotted in another video. It fell in my Redsta and it just completely dried out, so it's back. But anywho, let me um, change the angle and Kind of show you guys this a little more like i mentioned i just have everything in these slitted netted slitted <laughs> slitted pots and just to kind of show you guys what i have going on um i have a random raphidophora pertusa propagation and a random chunk here i don't actually know what it is but i can see some roots waking up which is cool because i've never propagated a chunk in water um, i have that begonia sinbad cutting like i told you guys i have a anthurium vitarifolium that doesn't look like it's doing great 
have a very sad <laughs> gigas and um what is this whoa um i have some sisis quadrangularis that i actually need to send my mother-in-law in edmonton i totally forgot what is that oh oh it's squishy yuck it's like gelatinous it's so gross okay also look at how funny this this is, is it like wrapped around itself and then i have a random glorious i don't even know where this came from to be fully honest and i wish i could tell you what this is but i have no clue i think it's an elegance okay so i'm gonna get this cleaned out i'm just gonna like wash the pots because it's all like slimy and stuff and then I'm gonna get this cleaned out as well. It just looks like this. You can fill it up to right here. It has a filter inside and it just keeps the water circulating. It actually has like a spout that you could add on. So let me just wash this and replace the water and then we will reassemble the prop area. I think I am at the end of my rope, I'm so, I'm so tired. But I just want to water my props before I go lay down, my head's like pounding. So I would probably say this is what I'm most excited about in my props right now. The stem is so weird, it's like a little caterpillar. I believe that this is the Gloriosum that I got from Erin that had the variegation on it, the variegation, the mosaic looking variegation. I did end up chopping it all the way back down because it got attacked by spider mites and I just was not trying to spend my time um, saving leaves that were already looking really bad. But the good news is, is I don't see any spider mites and I don't even really see any spider mite damage. So I think this one might be in the clear um, but I am seeing a little tiny spot. It does not look anything like the patterning on the original leaf. If you guys remember, the original leaf she gave me was like very speckled. Um, whereas this one is just like a tiny little corner of it. But regardless, not bad for a little um, chunk cutting. And then uh, you guys might have seen this one. But this is... I can't remember the name, but I got it from my mom and it's so cute. This was another one that it had like four leaves and then got attacked by spider mites. So I just chopped it back down to a stem and now she's back and it is looking spider mite free. I don't see any spider mite damage, which is just a beautiful, <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. but. It's funny, I actually prefer um, the emergent leaf on this uh, more so than when it's fully hardened off. It's a little bit anticlimactic once it's fully hardened, but when it's first coming out, it's so, so cute. And then, what else do I have in here? Um, mom, 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 mom. My Dune Eduel, I did chop it back because it was pissing me off and it's working on a little, what do, what do you call these things? It's not a frond, is it? I mean, it's something. But it's finally working on something else. I have another Glorios in here that looks like it's busting out of this prop bin. I can probably get this one repotted now. This is another form of Gloriosum. I think this is the one that I got from my sister. Um, I believe the one that she had was white veins. So yeah, this is pretty 
boring stuff now. So I'm actually just going to get this watered and then I'm going to go to sleep. And then tomorrow we will tackle this dang moss moss pole moss wall and start getting into the closet to organize and hopefully purge stuff and fingers crossed i'm feeling better tomorrow although tomorrow is day two of my period which is actually the worst so not feeling too hopeful but maybe if i get some rest today i'll have a little bit more steam tomorrow but anywho see you in a snap what someone commented on my adhd video just now saying volunteer at a shelter or food kitchen you're too self-absorbed maybe a prima donna i'm just gonna <laughs> just gonna leave that there oh yeah i'm so self-absorbed which is why i filmed headless for like a year because i just oh, just love myself just love myself anyway um, I have good news and I have bad news. The good news is I am not feeling worse than yesterday. The bad news is I am also not feeling better. So, um, you know, we just we just roll with it. I was born with a uterus, and that's just uh, that's just uh, that's just how the cookie crumbles. It's what day is it today? Thursday. Crap, it's Thursday. And today is the day that I am finally going to tackle. This closet and this stupid freaking moss wall. So what I'm going to do is just air out all of my secrets in this closet. And I'm really going to think hard, very, very long and hard about whether I actually, actually need these things. Or if they can be given or sold to someone else. So the first thing up is my humidifier. Hear me out. I love humidifiers and I have been using them for years and um, I just am sort of at a point now. I think my turning point was moving all my anthuriums out of greenhouses. I just feel like everyone that is outside of a greenhouse, it's like sink or swim. If, like you don't like it, then then you don't like it and, and, and we're just gonna deal with it um, when that happens. But just thinking of this hobby from a long-term perspective, I don't think like into my 80s, 90s, 100s, if I make it that far, um, that I'm gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna go fill my humidifier. I really don't think so. So I don't really feel like I need to hold on to this concept that this humidifier that is on like once every six weeks is really doing anything. In theory, I like a humidifier. Um, it was very helpful when I was moving, um, not new imports, but trying to acclimatize things from a greenhouse out here or on the shelf. I would just keep this humidifier around it, but I'm just sort of, I don't know. I feel like now I am much more willing to sacrifice leaves, have plants throw a fit until they eventually acclimatize, and I just don't want to baby them the way that I have been babying them. So I honestly think I'm gonna be done with humidifiers, like all of them. I thought about maybe like moving this into my bedroom for like the days where my husband and I get like really bad allergies or we're congested. But I also heard that like, if you're not using filtered water in your humidifier, it's like bad for you to breathe in the stuff that you're humidifying. I don't know if there's any truth to that. I haven't really read up on it. But um, in any case, if that is true, I am also not going to be filling six liters of uh, filtered water into this humidifier. So I think this will be my first purge item, this humidifier, and I know that I have several more. We're gonna do it. I'm gonna be brave. So let's set this aside. Next thing up are these Wally Grow planters. I see that I have three backings here, but only two planters. I think it's because my Cebu Blue is in one of them. And I think I'm going to, um, 
I don't think I'm gonna be using these realistically like I think if I ever have like a house like my own space I'm not really sure that this really fits my like aesthetic or like something that I would actually want to put up but I think that my mom has been wanting some of these I'm not sure if it's in this color that she wanted or if she already got them but uh, in any case this will be another thing that I purge if my mom does not want them although I can't even imagine her saying no to those so those will likely go to my mom I've got all, I've got all my water bottles that I obviously am going to keep <sighs> decorative sand do I need decorative sand? see here's the thing I have decorative sand because Um, I always think, oh, I'm going to make a terrarium or I'm going to make something like really pretty, like a bonsai tree, and then I can sprinkle some sand. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. She's never going to do that. So that's another thing I will give away. Um, I have my seedling trays. Need these. I need this because it's just good for storage. Um, more storage stuff. Oh my gosh, it's all piling up. So most of the things that I pulled are substrates and I do think I can sort of consolidate these into things I already have. So I'll use this so you guys can see what I'm doing. So I've got a Leka bin here and then I have a Ziploc of Leka. little bit of water to my leka so that it's not super dry when I use it because sometimes it is dusty I saw that my mom does this to her stored leka and um, when I was using the leka during some of her repots I just found it a lot nicer to work with than dry leka so now I'm doing it too because I do everything like my mom um, I've got my big perlite here. My manicure is jacked up. What the heck? I'm childproof. And I've got more here. Oh my gosh, it's so dusty. I don't want that dust to go in my... Am I okay? Settle down. It literally attacked me. I think pepper spray is illegal in Canada and I used to carry pepper spray with me because, you know, m men. Um, <coughs> but I don't think I can have it here. But no, I think I'll just keep a little vial of perlite dust and just poof. take that, bad man. never do anything right. Guys, I'm panicking. There's so much perlite dust I can't breathe. <gasps> I really should be wearing a mask. But I'm not. I don't think it's all gonna fit. Dang it. What is this position? What am I doing? Ah. Man. It's not all gonna fit. I think I'm just gonna put the rest in my soil to be full. 
I have an entire bag left. <laughs> Why did I buy so much? Keep or sell. I think I bought it for like five bucks or something. I'm not really using this grade of perlite all that much. Um, right now I'm really only using it in my no drainage vessels in replacement of LECA. But I still prefer LECA because um, I just do. So I think I'm going to not open this and um, just see if I can resell it for what I paid because I just realistically don't think I'm going to need that right now. And then I think I'm just going to add whatever is left in here into my soil bin, which is right here. And I can add some of this biochar and I will get this into a... Um, I'm gonna add some of this into. No. Oh my gosh, it's so dusty. Okay. I have one of my labeled jars here for husk and moss, which I really don't need because I just don't. Now the question is, do I want to mix this into my mixed moss mix or do I want to just put it into my soil? I'm kind of thinking my soil, but then it might make it a little bit too dense. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to add the husk and moss to my current soil mix. And then I'll add more amendments later because I've got tons of perlite. And I actually have a whole bin to my collection collection <laughs> to my recollection I have a whole bin of just pre sifted amendments from my old soil batch that I can just add in here because right now this this is looking a little bit too dense for me especially now that I've added all of this cut up moss but I truly treat my soil bin like not like a compost but like all of my scraps pretty much go in there. I would much rather toss it in my soil bin than throw it away. So this is no longer husk and moss, obviously. Dang it, where's my label maker? Freaking crap. everywhere. I just know it. Do you guys think this whole thing can fit in here? I think it can. If it can't, we're screwed. I don't know how I'm going to stop it. You guys, it is a filthy mess. Abort, abort. Do you guys know how long I have been not wanting to do that? Like, I've had that bag in there knowing full well I wanted to get it into a jar, but I knew it was gonna be super messy, so I've just been like, no, next time. So, it's done, we did it. I probably have biochar all the way up my nostrils, but she's in. And now I'm going to put her on the shelf. Now I have my tree fern fiber mix. And I've got some tree fern fiber randomly in this thing. And then I also have a whole bag here. But I don't think I'm going to be taking this out. I don't think it's 
necessary. I'm not using a ton of fern fiber right now. Whoa, I will get it into here. So now I've got two extra storage bins, but do I have lids? Dang it. I'm only seeing one lid. I have charcoal. I'm just gonna label this. Um, I have this random grid that I thought that I would get use out of for an orchid, but I'm never going to use it. So I'm going to be purging that too. Ew, I don't like when there's dirt on my feet. Bed sheets, I actually do need this. And, oh, there's my lid. I've been looking, but now where did I put the bin? Oh, it's right there. Yay, I have more boxes. Got this guy that comes in handy all the time, so I need him. Oh my gosh, do you guys want to see what I brought home from my mom's house? This is all coarse per light. Like a really good grade. But why did I take home so much? I need my toolbox. More bed sheets. Um, this is Lachuse Upon, which I can clean and put into my Lachuse Upon bin. So that is a to do item list. To do, to do. What? To do to do list item. Another humidifier that I can get rid of. I've got this Mars Hydro light for my sponsorship that I will not be using, so I will sell this. Propagation cups. I've gotten a lot of people who ask me about these. boba cups but I don't think they are and then these these are just like shallow I don't know what I would really ever use that for <gasps> I just have an epiphany I thought it was a lid dang it Good for drip trays though, for the world's smallest pot. I see like it can work for stuff like this, but do I need this many? Probably not. So let's just keep half of it, or not even half. <gasps> I had another epiphany. <gasps> I don't know what I'm thinking. Wet stick propagation. Okay, Sherman, you're on to something. Okay, okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. I'll keep, I'll keep a couple, but I think I can... Patch, I'm filming, babe, and you're being all crazy. I think I'll keep this much, and then I will donate this. Ew, my feet, they're feeling dusty. I don't like it, it's giving me goosebumps. I have this light that I really love. I just couldn't, I can never find a place for it. I don't know where to put it. Um, my camera. Oh, there you are. I'm putting on my, I'm putting on my Crocs. My dorky Crocs. Because I don't like when dirt or anything sticks to my feet. So, I don't even know why I don't use these for the house. They're so comfy. But I can't find my vape. Be right back. Soil. I don't know where to put that. I think I could fit one of those in my Samla. I'll just do it now. I'll do it now. I'll do it now. But I do think I'm gonna wear a mask because I don't want dirt sticking to my lip gloss.
I have a sneeze stuck in my throat. Throat? <laughs> I don't know who let me have this, but I don't think I will be, I didn't know I could do this. I didn't know I could do this. Whoa, whoa, this is so cool. I did not know I could do this, for real. I'm not even kidding. I wonder how fast I can go. <laughs> cool. You learn something new about yourself every day. Um, I'm going to respectfully give this away. Um, um, I have a potting mat that I got from Alice that has a broken clasp. But I do use my um, my potting mat without it being snapped on the ends because when I'm filming, I find that it gets in the way. So maybe I'll start using this one on my desk because it's actually the size of this desk. And then I'll put the smaller one away. And then I have a small potting mat, which is good. Let's just unbox it now. Can't see anything. Oh my goodness, no freaking way. We have the same handwriting. We have the same cursive. This literally looks like I wrote it. That's crazy. She sent me an entire box of Party Pun. I cannot. What? And look at her new bags. They're so cute. Literally like six bags of these. I don't know if you guys saw any of the videos where I used the Party Pun but it is chef's kiss. It's beautiful, I love it. I prefer it more than regular pond because it works really great and it looks prettier. But I'm not gonna unbox this right now. Oh my God, I'm gonna have to find a place to put this. But thank you so much, Ina. Um, I will link her shop and all of her information in the description. She has self-pottering pots and she has um, plants and she also has her own pawn and um, she's based out of Las Vegas and she does ship to Canada but no plants to Canada obviously oh. Excuse me. that was a fun little detour but we must continue so maybe this week I will um, show you guys how the party pond looks once it's mixed with perlite because you can add your own amendments so I usually add Orchiata and perlite just to make it a little bit lighter and then also to make it stretch a little bit further but when I tell you that party pond I look she doesn't call it party pond it's the name that I've given it because it looks like a party in the vessel it's so colorful it's vibrant it's beautiful and it's a great mix so um yeah let's try and squeeze that in this week because I definitely have some stuff that can be repotted oh almost done this is just the lid to my trash can you guys remember that comment i read you from the beginning well he replied and he says that i eat too much junk food i don't know where that came from but he's not wrong okay oh my word this is the world's largest bin this is aaron's bin and I need to give it back to her. And uh, I haven't seen her in ages, but it's taking up this entire closet. I mean, I guess I could use it still, technically. Um, okay, just random chairs for my 
guests come over. I am overwhelmed. There's too much stuff in here. I don't know what to do with this door. I think I might have to drop it off at like one of those recycling places, I think. I really don't think I'm ever gonna put them back. And then Ikea glass shelf. And then I just have this random thing for my business when I take product shots. So I do need to keep this. I'll keep this in here. All right, I wanna keep stuff on this side that I don't really ever touch, like these chairs. Oh my gosh. I just realized I have a brand new bag of pawn that's not even opened yet. <sighs> Part of me wants to keep my substrates in here because I pretty much have all of them stacked now in this little corner and it's getting a little overwhelming. I wonder if I can fit as much perlite as possible into this bin. Okay, I need my mask again. This, I'm gonna hate this. keep my pawn out here because I use it all the time. Sorry for the crap lighting, but I have utilized my huge grid that I cannot use anywhere in here. I, it's kind of hard to see, but I hung all my archicholuses there. And now I think I need to find some more hooks so that I can hook all of my pesticides on here. And I'm basically just going to try and consolidate, or not consolidate, I'm gonna try and alleviate some space issues that I'm having on my shelf. I have the option of putting stuff here. I don't know exactly what's gonna go on there yet, but I like that I have now organized some stuff in here. So I think that is it for the closet, and now we're gonna move into the next closet. Oh boy. I don't know how I let things get so bad. Ideally, I don't want any plant stuff in here. I would love for this to be storage for like our stuff stuff our tools and other things and along with this entire plant room i feel like this shelf plus this side of the closet should be more than enough space for my stuff the only thing is is i don't know where to put all my glass vessels i think at the very minimum i should only have one shelf of stuff like maybe just this one or just this one and then the rest can just be for um our personal storage so okay let's just start pulling stuff out I have more of these grids that I can also add to the purge pile something else I'm seeing immediately that I can purge are my old lights this is James I can't give this away so keep this for her I used to have so many of these things where are they I am feeling overwhelmed now is the time. Um, I have so many electrical things that I don't know for what's what. I used to be really good at like making sure it was all labeled and like I knew where everything went, but then I got freaking lazy. I have so much DE. Pumice, more pumice. What do I even need pumice for? Um, I can give these away. I, mm, 
Yeah, I'm not really using this color. I really have to detach myself. These are the sifters that I use for my soil when I'm like removing amendments from the soil, but I don't think that I need all of this. These are the ones that I use most frequently because they have different grades. I mean, not different grades, they have different um, size, what is it, mesh. So I think I'll keep those three and then I will get rid of these, which are actually cat poop scoopers, but I've been using them for my soil. So I will give these away. Mm. Here are some of my pre-sifted amendments. I didn't realize I had gone through so much of it already. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add this to the soil bin. Why do I have so many seedling trays? Cork bark and stuff. I'll keep those. I can't reach the world's heaviest pot. I think I'll. I mean, I like it, but what what would I even use it for? I don't know. We'll see. I could use it for my balcony too. Okay, here is <laughs> another humidifier I can give away or purge. So far that is three humidifiers I'm getting rid of, which is amazing. Okay, I'm gonna just donate this to a thrifted vessel. Let's see in here. In theory, I really like these, but they are so shallow and I never know what to put in them. The drip tray is so shallow that like it just spills everywhere. I'm gonna get rid of this. I have a cloche that I will likely never use, so I'm gonna get rid of that too. I have all of these like glass vessels that obviously I wanna keep. So I think that the only thing I'm gonna allow myself to put in here are my glassware. And that's it, like nothing else can go in here. So pots and glassware. Heard me, Sherman? Personal storage stuff will go here. I'm not going to show you guys the reorganizing of this entire thing. I really just wanted to show you the plant stuff that I was giving away. I'm going to go ahead and do this off camera and then just show you what all the glassware and the pots look like in here. I think there's probably more stuff I can get rid of in here, but I'll show you sort of like the bulk of it after. The audio might be a bit weird because I'm on my iPhone because I cannot move. I'm trapped. But um, here is the shelf. So this is my designated plant shelf. I am not going to allow myself to put any plant things other than on this shelf. And now the rest can be used for our storage and stuff. And I'll be able to move things from current storage areas into here. So that's a relief. All of this used to be in my shelf right here. And now this shelf is looking so much more organized and just cleaner. Um, I probably can like go in and I don't know, maybe give some of this away. Like I'm pretty sure there's stuff in there that I don't necessarily need. There's all of this electrical stuff that I don't really know is for what, but I think that's for another day. I'm pretty, I'm feeling pretty good about where I am here. As far as the closet, this is what it looks like now for like my plant side. I've hung like more trellises here, some of the pre-made poles, all of my substrates are here. Um, and this is my heaping pile of stuff I'm gonna give away. And I think I'm also gonna go through plants and give some stuff away. I just have to like put a disclaimer that I have pests right now. So let me just try and like move things to the side so I can kind of show you what I've got. I'm so happy that I can see my floor again. That was a... Uh panicked for a little bit, not gonna lie. Okay, let me show you what I have so far. I am gonna have to like clean up a lot of these things like the humidifiers and stuff, but I just wanna get it into this bin for now, this bin next to me, because I probably won't be able to like actually purge this stuff until after the weekend. So I'm gonna stick my Mars Hydro light in here. 
I've got these three grid thingamajigs. I have some of these that can be used for props or drip trays, like really small drip trays that'll just give away a bag of perlite. I have two Wally Grow planters that I could get some decent money for. I think I paid like 40 something for each of them because like tax and shipping. But I think I'm gonna give this to my mom. So I'm just gonna set this aside so I don't accidentally give it away. I think I have three sets of these Domia light panels. I know that this fertilizer got really good reviews and Alice and Jing are using it with like good results, but I am just, I don't know. I don't really have that much interest in using it. Um, I much prefer the, um, the liquid fertilizer. And right now I'm really, really invested in seeing if the TPS one will work for me. And I still have liquid gold leaf. I have CalMag, I have Marfil. I have Epiphytes Delight, so I really don't think I'm gonna use this, especially because you have to use rainwater. So I think I'm going to sell whatever's left in here. I haven't used that much. Um, this random pot. I got this used pole that came with a plant that I got. Obviously, I do not use those kinds of poles. And then I have the little pooper scoopers that people can use to sift out amendments or sift their cat's poop. Random little decorative pots. These amber ones are really good because it um, sort of filters the light a little bit and you can severely, is that the right word? You can drastically reduce the amount of algae in your props. This little pot and this teeny, teeny, tiny little pot, I'll just give that away. This little riser thing that I used to use in my red stuff. Decorative sand, a cloche, and one, two, three humidifiers. I'm actually, I'm actually feeling really good. Um, I filled up, you can't see, but I filled up a bin plus the humidifiers, and I've consolidated all of my substrates, got them into bins, and I think that's pretty much as much that's. I think that's as much as I can purge right now. Um, I can't really see anything within my eyesight that I can get rid of. I do have this really old, not old, I do have my old shrimp tank that I have been saying that I was gonna convert into a little terrarium, but the idea of maintaining a terrarium, especially like when I go back to California, it's just not realistic. But honestly, nobody is really buying tanks right now. I've seen so many people trying to sell it for like super, super cheap and um, no one is biting. So I've got to think about what I want to do because I did pray, pray. I did pay a good amount of money for that. I think the only thing left to do today is dismantle this moss wall, which I am freaking dreading. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I have been trying to put it off for as long as I can. But I think that is going to be it for today in terms of the organizing and decluttering. And then um, I think maybe sometime this weekend we'll go through props and plants that I can also um, purge and get rid of. Because I've just got, I think I've got too much, you guys. Like, I've got like trailing baskets of like Hartley philodendron. And like, I don't even really love my Cebu Blue. It's growing just fine, but like, I don't really ever like admire it or like I don't know I just don't give it love I literally just water it and it's just I think that's like one of my last remaining filler plants so I probably will get rid of that but um we won't worry about that until the weekend right now we need to worry about this freaking moss wall and now I need a bin for my moss because I don't think it's all gonna fit in my current bin <sighs> okay okay let's uh Let's just do it now.
Which type of big fat juicy hamburger? Mm -hmm. What type of big fat juicy hamburger do you want? Chubby chicken or beyond? When you said burger, I, I, I figured you meant beyond. Like, yeah, that's what I thought. Well, no, I want a real hamburger. Yeah. So the, the biggest one they have. The biggest one. Not like heck of me, not like five patties, but like the one with the works. The Onions, one. lettuce, meat. Big Daddy Burger. Oh. <laughs> That's foul. Okay, I'll do a teen burger with... Wait, the teen burger does have bacon. Yeah, but I can remove the bacon. And give it to me? Oh, 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 okay. I'll just leave it then. Mm. <laughs> Are you good? <laughs> mm. Extra bacon. Extra. Do I want onion rings or fries? What if I get onion rings and you get fries? <laughs> um, stop! I feel the pressure. So tired. That's no, it's more just about I'm tired. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I know I say this all the time, you guys, but I'm for real really tired now. Like, really, really tired. But I have an entire bin of moss now. Um, I don't remember when I said it on my channel, when I said that I was vowing to never buy another bag of sphagnum moss. This was actually the last bag of moss that I purchased that I used for the moss wall. And um, the only moss that I have left is actually just in a tiny little um, bin 
why do I always do this when I think um, it's in a tiny little bin and I was like oh my gosh I am gonna run out so I think this box should last me the rest of my life and when it runs out then we will find an alternative honestly if i could afford tree fern fiber like a lot of it and if it was like readily available to us here i would just switch all my poles to tree fern fiber and call it a day and just like never look at moss again but unfortunately i do not live in that income bracket and um it's kind of hard to find here so anyway i've got all of this netting here that i'm actually going to cut into like a smaller piece i'll roll it and i will probably just give it away to someone who buys something for me um, so that they can use it for a lazy pole or whatever they want to use it for so i think i'm ready to wrap up today my husband's picking up dinner right now and i'm starving i only had cereal for lunch um tomorrow alice is coming over so i do need to like clean up the apartment because it looks like a hot mess I need to take a shower and uh, redo my nails. Look at my nails. I will show you guys some like behind the scenes stuff of us filming tomorrow, but probably won't film too much unless Alice is up for it. We'll see. Um, but yeah, we're doing a collab, so we're filming two videos tomorrow. It's always a very exhausting day when we film um, back to back, but it just makes sense to make the most of our time when we're together. But other than that, uh, we still have more stuff to purge this weekend. I still want to try and get rid of some stuff in this room. I don't know why. It's still feeling very heavy. I don't know. I really don't know. I think it's just my OCD. I, like, the cabinet is basically empty and I just, it's still stressing me out. But, um, I'm glad to at least get rid of some stuff. And, like I mentioned, I do want to purge some plants. Hopefully, um, people will be willing to take them even though I do have pests but you never really know. So anyway, um, I am signing off for tonight and I will see you guys tomorrow. Hi, Pudge. I have a surprise for you. <laughs> I know, it's Auntie. I know, it's Auntie. Oh my God. I know, buddy. You gotta get wiped up first. I know, it's your Auntie. I want to Here he comes, here he comes. Release the hound, release the hound. <gasps> Auntie, oh, that is so sweet. Yeah. Buddy, surprise, it's Auntie. Surprise. I told you I had something good for you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thanks. Oh, did your mom make these coasters? Yeah. So cute. So adorable. Oh, would you like to say hello to everyone during the Hi. Weekend? Hi, everyone. Hi, Charming Friend. Please follow, follow my friend Alice on uh, YouTube at You Don't Even Grow Here. I'm going to put the sparkly text now. Okay, let's try this freaking. I think it's new, this um, chicken. Oh chicken. yes. No, it's not that new. Oh, it's not. Ketchup? Chicken and ketchup. It's make chicken though. Yeah, with ketchup. Not a muck chicken. No. It's I'm pretty sure it's a make chicken patty. It already has the mayo stuff on it. Mm, I mean, yeah. Oh, you're right. Oh, good. And is it with ketchup? Mm -hmm. Everything's with ketchup. It's Ooh. good. Oh, good. Doesn't it scream breakfast? But if you ever wondered what a McChicken would be like with cheese. It's like brunch. Like breakfast. And like lunch. lunch. Yeah. <laughs> brunch. Oh. Mm hmm. I like it. Mmm. I just love a good oily hash brown. Mm. This was a great idea. This coffee is good. Mm hmm. Why is it good? 
How'd you can pick up all the crumbs? Did you come here? What's been on your week of so far? So I am um, in the beginning of the week. I did pest management stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I cleaned out my plant cabinet and closet. It was such a mess. My pots were all dirty and like falling everywhere. So I just like organized in there. And I need to like purge all that, all those supplies that I got. I just don't want to deal with pickups. Such a pain in the butt. So you don't, I didn't really look closely at that box. Mm -hmm. You don't want the, that mesh anymore? No. Let me use it. Do you need it? Only because I have so much. I have like an entire roll of it. Oh, like where those seeds constructed from holes? Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm. No, my big grid wall. Oh. If you need it, you should just take it because I was just going to give it away. Mm. I don't like the egg. Did you not know there was egg? Yeah. So chewy. Do you not usually like the egg? I usually only eat hard boiled eggs. No, but like in a McMuffin. No, I usually get a sausage biscuit. That's the thing? Mm -hmm. I, I didn't see it on the menu here. I think it's just in the States. Oh, so there's good. so many more options in the States. I know. Sure. I just like the texture of the biscuit. It's like a buttered biscuit mm -hmm. with sausage, and there's no egg, and then there's cheese. So good. And there's like a biscuit sandwich here, but it has an egg too. What happened to your arm? Oh, this is um a baking sheet coming out of the oven. <laughs> ah! You need like arm protectors. You're always scratching your arms mm -hmm. against the dishwasher. Uh. I was just thinking this morning that I I want to watch you work. Because I'm like a different person. I think so. Yeah. I want to see you in action. I feel like there's like a whole side of you I've never seen or no. Then you probably never see it. What if I go to <laughs> This hand is really thick. Mm -hmm. The hand, I, I think I'm just used to like the sandwich hand. I don't think this is usually this thick. This is like ham patties. Girthy. Mm -hmm. It's got some width. In the I don't like it that, that thick. thick. No. For the rest of this week of, I need to, I want to try and get rid of plants too. Because mm -hmm. I was talking about in the week of how like you did your, your purge and how you got rid of your plants that you had for forever. Mm -hmm. Like actively, like I was talking about how you just like hold on to plants because you've had it for so long. So you have to like so actively tell yourself like, I'm going to get rid of it. Yeah, because you just like, it's just it's there. It's just there. Mm -hmm. It's always been there. So yeah. To it. Mm -hmm. You know what's weird is I chopped up my SP Columbia, my big one, and the bottom started yellowing, all of them. Why? I didn't transplant it, I, I just chopped the top off. And the Maybe bottom. Just to, it lost all the hormones at the top, and then it has to like produce all these to activate another group. Mm -hmm. I guess I was like, really new? <laughs> I thought it would be the top that would throw with it. Even like out here, they're like kind of facing down. Yeah. I'm at a point now with my plants where like, if they want to be a pain in your ass, then it's just, that's just, that's your decision. You go and do that. <laughs> Did I give you a cystus quadrangularis already? Mm hmm. You want one? It's really cute, but I don't know how important it is. Why? Look at it. It's just like, they're so cool. They are, yeah. No, I'm but they look cool when it's like multiple strands. They're so easy to propagate though. Really? They grow so fast and they propagate so fast. I've chopped that thing like four times. My um, paradoxa minor rotted. The whole thing? What? There were a few strands that were... I noticed they hadn't grown in a while. In like above the soil, it was like black wrinkly stem. So I pulled those out. And I tried to pond root them and then those still kept rotting. Oh my god. Here's what I'm thinking. For the plants that I've had for forever that are just filler plants that I don't really love. Seaweed blue. 
to shoot you down there. Yep. And um, yeah, you couldn't get cuter trailers than that. Mm -hmm. I think there's that. Okay, so at the corner store that I go to every day, mm -hmm. every other day, they have a really beautiful giant full Brazil bag. I knew you were gonna say Brazil. It's really nice. But how many times have we tried to have a Brazil? I still have my Brazil. Really I've never bought one of the big baskets though. Oh, I used to have a Wally Grove planter of it and it just got thrift. But that would look, that's more up your alley and I'll send you a photo next time I'm there, you tell me. I think it's like less than $20. Mm. And it's one of the really nice, beautiful ones. Yeah, I think I need like something of color for sure. It's like very like washed out. Mm. You know what I've been really, really, really wanting lately? Like so bad. A fern. Don't look at What kind of fern? I don't know. Some kind of fern. I am thinking about getting that vert planter thing and trying to grow the fern on there. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to set up for filming her video. Not sure I'm gonna record any behind the scenes. I think I'll record behind the scenes for our tortilla slapping mm -hmm. video. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, we are done filming for the day. Oh no, we're not. No, we're, not. we're almost done, done, almost done, done. <laughs> we're almost done filming for the day, but um, we're about to film the tortilla slapping video, or video part of it, um, but we wanna do some practice rounds. Uh, I feel like people thought Alice was going easy on me last time, which I think, in a sense, she was, kind of. We were. But it hurt, it still hurt, but it didn't yeah. seem. Well, I didn't, no, we didn't wanna hurt each other. <laughs> But I think this time we can. I'm okay with it. I am too. Yeah. Like I'm <laughs> fine if I have like a little red mark on my face for a few just days. Blush. Yeah. Yeah. So we just want to get in some good practice rounds. Yeah. These are dense. Yeah. These aren't like regular tortillas. These are like like metal like leather. Tortilla. Yeah. But they're they're thicker. They're more. <laughs> they got more weight to it. Yeah. yeah. That's gonna hurt. So. So we're going to do some practice rounds before we actually film the real thing. So I thought that it would be fun to include it in the week of. We're not going to have any water in our mouth because mm -hmm. we're not set up and I don't want water all over the Couch. living room. So let's do two practice laps. All right. Because we don't want to be like hurting by the time we film the yeah, real sure. one. Okay. Do you want to go first? Okay. Sideways only. Sideways oh, okay. only. Oh, I'm scared. Wait. <laughs> Why is it scary? Are we closing our eyes again? Like we did yeah. Last time? Okay. It's scary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I'm <laughs> going. <laughs> I'm so scared. Don't go easy on me. Oh yeah. Don't but go easy on me. You go like this. Okay. You have to like, like, like. I'm going. I'm going for your freaking the one you want. Why don't you do that? That's why. Right. Put in your mind. I'm so scared. Okay. That wasn't a very good one. Did it hurt? A little bit, yeah. I think I hit you like too much on your no, eye. No, no, it was here. Oh, really? Yeah. These are a lot denser okay. than the other ones. Are you ready? Yeah. Make it a big sound. Okay. Close your eyes though. I feel so bad. I think I'm gonna go from, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I wanna go from this way or if I'm better backhanded. Oh, I feel but the I think, wind. I think I'm gonna go from this way, ready? <laughs> oh my god! I didn't make. I'm not making big it. sounds. I think it hurts more it than hurts the sound. More. Yeah, it's like. Right? It's it's like a towel whip where you have to get it just right for it to make, make the, the right sound. Yeah. Did that hurt? Did it hurt badly? I can still feel yours sticking in my. It didn't feel great. It but. didn't feel like pleasure. <laughs> You didn't get off on me. <laughs> no. Thank God. But it's not like, ow. Okay, okay. So you can go harder. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> you have to get your angle right. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what my angle is. Is it this way or is it this way? Like, I think I I'm hitting you like right here versus here. Yeah. Okay, ready? Mm-hmm. I just straightened my arm. Oh. 
Oh. Like I went like this. And I didn't go yeah. like this. Yeah. Oh, it's ripping. I just, I wasn't yeah, mine's even, ripping too. Yeah, I didn't even like try to go as hard as I can. I yeah. just went straight and it just. It's oh. all about surface area. Okay, you try yeah. doing that. You have to. So I'm trying to get you, but I don't want to hit your ear because I really like. Oh. Boom. Like the, I could, it, it's a bit ringing. Maybe we should wear ear. But like. <laughs> we can put cotton balls in our ears. Yeah, you can't bend your. You want to switch okay. spots so you can stretch your arm. Wait, like because even. Yeah, because no. I went like this. Well, because you backed up. <laughs> You're like, try it. Oh, <laughs> try it. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh my god, it's ripping so much. I know. It's fucking wheat. <laughs> Shit, wheat. <gasps> Did I get your ear? No. no. <laughs> I felt like a real slap. <laughs> more on you. Here, do another one on me. No, that yeah. last one was so bad. I want to try, try I, I avoid, wanna... do the same thing, but get, don't get my ear. Okay, I want to try backhand though. Okay. I don't know which one I like better, backhand mm. or, I think that front one was really good, but <laughs> I do, I would like to get you from different angles. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Mm. <laughs> How was that? <laughs> How was that? <laughs> was it a little snappy? Like it's like right here. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think we're ready? Yeah, we're ready. Alright, I mean, this. with a cheek full oh, of water. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's gonna be. Now, these are just like falling apart. Hi, everyone. Happy Saturday night. Um, I am home alone today because my husband is out with friends doing fun stuff. And I am here with you guys, and we're gonna purge and do plant stuff, which is amazing because we went out last night and I am really tired still. So anyway, I had a pretty chill day. It was mostly just editing and work, took a long nap, and now we're here. So before we get started, um, I need to order dinner because it's getting kind of late. It's eight o'clock now. I have nothing to cook here, no car to go grocery shopping or buy food. So I need to figure out what is for dinner. I don't really like spending money on takeout, but I do have to eat. You know when you're like in one of those moods where you are just hungry, but nothing really sounds good? Like I'm looking at everything here and I'm just like, Herc, that looks so gross. Let's see what's the fastest around me. Under 30 minutes, gonna be like McDonald's. Oh, gross. Pizza, oh. I kind of want to eat something vegetarian right now. Mm, you know what sounds kind of good is a shawarma or a um, samosa with like mint chutney. <sighs> now I'm in the mood for food. Definitely do not want pizza Ugh, or a hamburger. I will literally herk everywhere. Okay, okay, we're gonna make a decision. It's between Chipotle, quesada, or mucho burrito. I want the place that's gonna give me the most sour cream, most avocado, and most pico de gallo. So let's do a white flour burrito with vegan beans. Aren't beans vegan? Or I could do the tofu. Tofu in a burrito sounds weird. Sauces, sour cream, yes. And cilantro lime sour cream. Um, diced tomato, corn, red onion, cilantro, lettuce, guacamole, $2.79! Uh, do I want cheese? I want to say no cheese. I want to have gas. Do not tempt me with these churros. Nope, nope, nope. Guys, this is the most pointless. I don't even know why I'm recording right now, but... I think I want to get the pond plants out of the way first, so keep rolling around. The first one is this very embarrassing and sad Burley Marks Fantasy that I actually repotted on camera. It has only declined since. It has not done any better. It has not given me any new leaves. So what I think I'm going to do is chop these up into single nodes, um, treat them for pests, and then um, I will prepare like a little box, uh, like a little prop box of the single node cuttings along with this one as well and I will just sell them all the single node cuttings so that people can have their own propagation pro project 
but I want to make sure that they sort of plump up a little bit before I get them rehomed just because I don't really feel great about um, giving away, not giving away plants, but like selling a plant that looks this sad. Now, if I was just giving them away, that would be a different story. It's like, it's free, you can work on it, but I am going to try and sell it for a little sliver of money and I need a moss bin. You're probably going to hear Pudge tapping around because he is not used to his dad being gone at this time. He's just looking for him, it's quite sad. How is this not dead? It's been unrooted for so long. There's not a single brand new root on this thing. And I think I cut it maybe like three months ago. That is sad and terrible. So I think what I'm gonna do, they look so sad. I wanna show you guys what they look like now. Um, maybe by tomorrow, if I just submerge it in water overnight, it might perk up a little bit but I don't really know. It's just so sad. So let me get a little thingy mabobby for this guy. Got him in a little bin here and I'm just gonna seal it up and then put it somewhere warm so that it gets nice and humid and um, hopefully they perk up by tomorrow. Oh no. No. Oh my gosh, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm home alone. Oh my gosh, why won't it? Oh. That was scary. Well, it's 8.30, so. Oh my gosh, my props are waking up. If you can't tell, I'm trying to not let things get out of hand in terms of the mess because I feel like I tend to just be a little bit chaotic while I'm doing stuff like this, especially when I'm filming and it just really overwhelms me. So you're gonna see me tidying up after everything I do. Um, the next one, the next one you guys might be surprised and I'm a little bit surprised myself and now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, what is wrong with you? Look at like how red and beautiful the backs of these are. So this one is my Begonia Gray Feather and I, it's not that I don't like it. I really, really do. It reminds me of like a varicosum, like a varicosum begonia in terms of how the leaf looks. But I don't really know why it's not sparking joy the way that it used to. I used to be so obsessed with this plant and now it's kind of just like underwhelming. I mean, it's really, really beautiful. It's so nice, but... Is it nice enough to like take care of? So see now that I'm looking at it, but this is how this is how it always gets me. It's like during the times where I'm like, I'm gonna purge it and then I actually go to do it, it I start to like justify why I should keep it. I'm struggling, if you guys can't tell, I'm struggling. I'm like going back and forth in my head. Yes, no, yes, no. As it is though, it's not, I don't look at this plant and think, oh my gosh, I love it so much. I can't wait till it gets bigger. Like if anything, I want it to be smaller. Yeah, you know what? If I have to like rationalize this much about why I do or don't like it, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get rid of it. And I know that it's much easier to work with pond when it's wet in terms of unpotting something root bound, but I don't like wet pond and this is wet. So I just don't like how it like sticks everywhere. What I'm going to do is just soak this in water and just clean off some of those roots. I do plan on getting it into perlite though for when I sell it. I just want to make sure nothing funky is going on under here. Everything looks pretty good. It's a healthy root system. It's a healthy plant. I don't think this one ever had spider mites or any pests, but I'm still going to treat it as if it does and just, you know, like I mentioned, do a disclaimer that I have pests and even if you don't see any pests, it doesn't mean that there's not necessarily any that are <laughs> lurking. 
I'm just soaking this guy in water just to get anything off the leaves and try and loosen a little bit more of that pond on the root so that it's as clean as possible when I transfer it to perlite. Um, I'm so scared this thing's gonna fall off my table. Okay, so this is another one that I'm thinking of getting rid of. The only thing is that I think my mom would really like this plant. Um, it's just that I would have to hold on to it until December when I go home, but it's really pretty. It's just, it's not, it's not really sparking joy like it used to. And this is like one of those plants that I've just held on to because I've had it for so long and it's just grown so much in my care. So it kind of feels sad to get rid of it, to go to mom or to sell. I mean, to be fully honest, the most I could probably get for this entire thing is like $25 at most. And it's like, I would rather just not have the $25 than just like give it to my mom. Okay, okay, fine. You got me, Sherman. To mom, it goes. The next one is this, I don't know, is it a pedatum glad hand? It's something, but the stem rotted right here in the center, which is so strange. I've never seen that happen before. So. I'm going to chop this. I'm going to chop this right here. It's very, very close to the node, but there's multiple. And then get rid of this one because it's mushy. I'm just going to honestly cut, cut it like right here. So I'll leave a two node cutting and then um, another two node cutting. And what was I thinking about? I was thinking about something. <laughs> what was I thinking about? Um, so I have it like, wait, what? Oh, I was thinking I need to turn on my charger. Gosh, my brain frustrates me. Um, I'm gonna give this a rinse and then I will create a little prop box for it. And I'll sell that for like cheapy, cheap, cheap. So when we return, we have two plants in soil that are larger and are gonna take a little bit more effort. So it's a good thing my food is here so that I have some strength and then I have to also handle the um, begonia still. So ad break and we will be right back. Let's all collectively ignore the burrito juice on my chestices. The last one that I need to get unpotted is this big Cebu Blue that is currently in the Wally Grow planter that I'm gonna give to my mom. Um, it's honestly been growing pretty well with like the exception of like some yellowing leaves because I always freaking forget to water this thing. But yeah, I'm just not really not loving it the way that I thought I would. I do think these are very pretty once they get larger, but I'm not so invested in sizing up um, like pothos plants or epipremnum plants with the exception of my um, epipremnum albo. Yeah, I just, I feel like there's like a certain level of dedication that you have to have and like just like pure like desire and willpower to do that. And realistically, I'm not I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it. So this one was 100% a impulse purchase. And at the time it was very exciting. And um, there was a period of time where, yeah, I really did like it, but I don't know. I just, I'm kind of feeling meh about it. I know my mom would probably want this, but truth be told, mom, I, <laughs> I don't wanna haul this over there and it's just gonna be a nightmare. So anyway. Let's get this out of here because I am starting to lose steam and there's still one more thing I want to do tonight. I kind of want to like get in my tent and just organize it a little bit and maybe do a little watering in there. I can't remember the last time I watered. All over me. So I'm not going to untangle this root ball, honestly I'm just going to like shove it back into another pot 
But I just wanted to make sure the roots looked okay and they look great, honestly. They look really good. So I just need to find a pot that I don't need to put this in. I'm just gonna reuse this soil because whoever gets it will likely want to use their own soil. I think it should be able to squeeze in this little pot, but the drainage holes are ginormous. So I'm gonna just add some landscape fabric. about it um i feel like it still looks pretty decent since i didn't fuss with it too much it definitely just needs a little bit of a bath and some fertilizer and i think she'll be good to go i am too lazy to get my perlite from all the way under there and to wash it so i'm just going to sacrifice some pond and stop being a stingy little biatch so the begonia has been soaking, it has been washed down, it has been sprayed with Asmax. And now I'm just gonna repot it and at least people can, did I just break another freaking leaf? At least whoever buys it can see the roots. Definitely broke a leaf because I have a leaf on my hand. But here she is, um, I may regret this. Honestly, I'm looking at these leaves, they're wet, they're sultry, and they're like, they're just, they're screaming to me, they're actually so pretty. What is wrong with me? Nope, be strong. I'm gonna get cleaned up here a little bit and then we are going to head into my tent. I think, I just kinda wanna take everyone out, inspect everyone, see who needs to be watered. And um, I think that will be the last thing I do tonight because I am quite tired and I still have to edit all the footage that I filmed tonight. And I wanna watch the new Jeffrey Dahmer thing that's out on Netflix. So, see you in a second. Before we get into my tent, I'm going to mix some fertilizer water, which is very rare these days. I usually just use my sprayer. But because everything is kind of growing like robustly in there, I want to give it like a good, like full dilution, well, half dilution um, fertilizing. So I am really trying to use TPS for all my plants, but I don't want to waste this. And I still have like a good amount of the bottle left. So I'm gonna just use this now and I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do three milliliters of liquid gold leaf. And then I'm also gonna be using this TPS Nutrients liquid soil. I've actually never used this on my channel before, but I have used it. So um, this is what the bottle looks like. It is linked in the description. It says that it is a biological remediator slash soil conditioner. I'm just gonna read you what it says on the bottle. Um, liquid soil was specifically designed to turn your soil into the best possible growing medium for plants. Within minutes of contact, liquid soil will reduce salt loads and begin stabilizing imbalances. Within hours, bacterial colonies will form and fungus networks will establish. And within days, our proprietary plant extracts will fuel an enzymatic revolution, breaking down dead root material and kickstarting your soil. So it sounds like a whole lot of good things in a bottle, right? Um, it says in terms of the ingredients, it has Bacillus subtilis, Bacillus laterosporus, Bacillus lichiniformis, Bacillus megaterium, Bacillus methylotrificus, Bacillus, Bacillus mohavensis, Bacillus amyl, amyl, amylolichifacians, what? Bacillus pumilus, uh, glomus, trichoderma and humic acid. That's a whole lot of things that I cannot say. I probably butchered it. But um, in any case, I'm going to be using it. It does say that you can use it with your uh, 
with your um, fertilizers, I think. Attempt 10 to 15% water runoff during application for best results. I'm obviously going to be using this with no drainage vessels, so I'm going to dilute it a lot more. 5 milliliters per gallon, that is 2.5 milliliters, or 2.5 liters. I honestly think I'm going to do like 2 milliliters of this. I could probably even do less. It smells kind of good actually. Um, I have used this with my um, Hoyas and then also on my plants. Some of my plants in my living room that were looking a little gunky, but have not used it in my tent yet. It's kind of just starting at whatever's in the front. Um, this is my pink, why do I say pink? This is my white, what? White wizard? Um, white princess. And the new leaf is really pretty. I did want to repot this one, but yeah, let's just do it. Because the pond is looking really, really terrible. When the um, algae on the vessel starts looking this color, that's kind of when I feel like it's really time to get things kind of cleaned up because it just looks really gross. But you'll notice on the actual pond in the center of the vessel, it's pretty clean. There's like virtually like no algae. It's literally just like gunked up on the sides. So I think when people see algae buildup, they just assume that it's kind of like taken over all of it, but it really is just kind of what's exposed to the sunlight. The roots look good. There's only one root here that looks a little bit, yeah, like mushy and gross. I'm gonna go for a vessel this size and, oh, shoulders. Got some party pawn, and you can't tell me that doesn't look like a party. It's like pawn confetti, mm -hmm. and I'm obsessed with it. So that is the base. It does not come with slow release fertilizer, which is fine because not everyone actually likes to put slow release in their pond. I do, but just not a lethal amount like I used to. I added some perlite, and now I'm just gonna mix it. Party pond is good to go, and now let's repot. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, I think this week of is gonna be so long because I have already started editing it, and it's I think it's over two hours now. And then tonight is probably gonna add on another hour, if not more. And we still have one, two, three more days of to-dos left. But to be honest, um, I think Monday. Monday, Sunday and Monday are going to be pretty light in to-dos just because I have a lot of work to do. I have a lot of editing to do and I don't really have a ton of filming time slotted for those days. But we'll still do some stuff. I just really, really wanted to get the plant purged next week so I knew I had to do repots and get them all ready and then get my uh, plant room cleaned, which is amazing. It's kind of re-inspired me to purge, whoa, the rest of the house, even though I've already done it like 50 million times. I freaking love Party Pond. Party Pond is so beautiful. Um, okay, so this one is done. I'm gonna actually water this right away. Oh my word. Which is nobody, babe. It's just us. And if it's a ghost, I don't want to know about it. Not when I'm alone. All right, she is done. Feeling pretty good about her. I wasn't super invasive with the unpot unpotting. Um, and now I want to do. Oh, it's getting messy. It's getting my hair clean. It's getting messy. The next one I'm gonna do is this Monster Admissionii. 
This one has been overdue for a repot, but I've been putting it off for so long because it's so rooted into this moss pole. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna get it out of pond first, I think is the first thing, and then I'll dismantle this pole. I hate these poles so much. Um, I did inoculate this with TPS Billions Myco, and I can see so many more new roots than what I had before. <laughs> this is Jing's homemade pond because it's very blue. These roots are great. Wow, her pond is so nice. It just slides right off. Look at that. So clean. Okay. Now I'm going to cut this stupid pole apart. Okay, I don't know if I have removed enough moss to get it through unscathed leaves. I've got really, I've got one nice juicy one right here. to dismantle one of these poles in what feels like forever so um actually i'm surprised at how much this has rooted and like how healthy those roots are in the pole considering i was so bad at spraying it but i have some um really really good roots on here like look at that has rooted You guys, that is so freaking creepy. I heard upstairs, because I know, I know what it sounds like when my neighbors drop something on their floor and it almost sounded like someone dropped like a coin right above me or like in the hallway, but my neighbors are in Hawaii. Like I'm plant sitting for my neighbor so I know no one is supposed to be home but I heard um, a coin drop on the floor all of that all of that I wonder if the audio picked it up that is so creepy why do bad things always happen when I'm home alone anyway um, I got this really really nice root on it and then all of these roots down here so I'm feeling good and look at all this stem here. Honestly, I could probably chop it and um, just propagate all of these nodes, but do I even really want to is the question. It's just that it's so long, you know, like I don't really feel like I need to put all of this in my vessel. I think I can just cut it right here. Um, how variegated is it? Oh yeah, it's like right down the middle, okay. So let's cut right here. And now I've got all of this stem. Look at all those nodes. So I'll just go ahead and put that back into a vessel and see what wakes up. And then um, I think I'm going to do pawn again for this one, but get it on to maybe one of Lauren's poles that she um, gave me. I just. I think I have one that's already assembled somewhere. I just don't know if it's gonna be tall enough. 
I feel like it's going to outgrow it really quickly, but I can always get an extension. I actually think I have one. I'm trying to save all my nice vessels for the plants that are actually on display and then using my little crunchy pots for the ones in the tent. So I think this size is going to be fine for this plant. Oh my gosh, you guys, I can feel my period cramps coming back. No, my ibuprofen is wearing off. Ow. I have some extra lazy pull straps here that I think might work. I might just need to adjust the width a little bit. So I got a lazy pull strap on it, but I think I'm also going to do one down at the base to kind of keep all of those roots covered. What are you leaning? Don't lean. What I want to do is just wrap it around the base here because there's like roots that are exposed that I don't want to dry out. Oh my god. We're flying. Dang it. All right. She is in, she's on a new pole. The good thing is that once this new growth point starts going, um, I can just easily stick an extension on top. And now I'm gonna water it. Now I just need to do the base of it and I am just gonna get it back into pond. I think I'm gonna use some of the older pond that I haven't cleaned out yet since it's just a stump cutting. Um, oh, it feels so gross to do this, but you know. Whatever. There are like a million nodes on this thing. It looks like a caterpillar. Let's count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. This is a 14 node stump. Um, it would be nice to be able to give a one to my mom and maybe one to my sister. And I kind of want to give one back to Jing, even though she's probably gonna be like, do not bring that to my house. <sighs> okay, stump is in. I am going to inoculate it though. <laughs> Why do bad things happen to bad people? <laughs> Damn it. The one cup that has a freaking drainage hole, there is a 0% chance I'm going to get through my entire tent tonight, but I can probably get through like maybe two more. Um, this is my, one of my fill attention tenues. You guys, this thing is just so sickly and gross and I'm pretty sure it has thrips. If this moves, I'm yeeting it into the freaking garbage. I'm not even joking, you know. Wiggle around, you little shit. I don't think that actually was a thrip. Anyway, um, this is one tenue that I have. My other one is growing way, way better, but you know, we're just gonna... <laughs> Water it and move along like we do every single week with her. Jose Buono. Very sad Jose Buono. I want to get it out of here. Today, today is the day. It's messy. It's messy. I know there's at least one rotten root in here. What in the hell are these sounds that are scaring the bejesus out of me? That one is dry, 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 dry. This is the one that looks rotten. I'm gonna just chop off what is black. And then I think this is gonna go pawn, perlite. 
I don't want to rinse my perlite. I'm lazy. Let's just do pond. Fuck it. Why won't you stay down? Submit. Vera from P Propagation Diaries gave me this little, gave me these little thingies. And I think they're made for the climb poles to like stake your plants into the pole, but I'm gonna use it to keep this stupid freaking root down that is being such a pain in my booty. There we go. Maybe I'll use two. Like that, and then I'll cover it. Because they're so stiff, and they keep wanting to go upward. Hopefully this one perks up, because this one has been suffering since I went to California. If you guys didn't catch it in my variegated uh, plants video, this is one of the ones that like just completely dried out while I was away. I think Nick didn't see it at the very top of my um, tent, and yeah, it just almost died it completely. Oh my cramps! Let's do one more, you guys. I can't. I can't. I simply can't. Um, I think I watered this one recently. This is my other tenu, and it's growing so much better than my other one, and it's actually starting to size up. This was one of the tenus, um, along with the other <laughs> sad one, this one, that I included in my plants. I think it was like seven plants that I want to glow up this year, and um, I honestly thought that it would be much bigger by now. But you know what? I'm going to take this over what that one looks like. The leaves are a little weird, but it is getting much bigger. Like the leaves were like this little at first. Now they actually look like tenu leaves. And this is, I think this is the largest emergent leaf I've had so far. It'll probably be about, about this size though. So I don't need to water this because it's already watered. Let's do this one. I have been wanting to repot this Squamicqual for what feels like forever. And I think I want to get it into pond. It's literally just in moss right now, which is crazy. I had it in such a large vessel because the um, leaves, the original leaves on it were actually quite large. But they have all died and... Both of these emerged in my care, and they're so cute. They're so small. This one was probably one of my toughest rooters. Like, it refused to root, but it also wasn't rotting. It wasn't dying. Um, it, just, it just kind of, like, stayed frozen in time for a really, really long time. And I was fully expecting it to rot, but never happened. But it's still, like, for as long as I've had it, I feel like the root system should be way larger than this. I have not inoculated this with TPS yet because I knew that I wanted to repot it. Oh my cramps, it's like I'm having contractions. I actually think I can just chop this whole node off and maybe we can get a new swarm. That would be fun. I am going to be doing a tree fern fiber pole because I'm feeling bougie today. Ah, please don't spill out. Um, oh yeah, okay, 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 okay. Aw, oh, it's gonna go in the... You know, I did not mean to do that at all. That's not... My brain said one thing and then my body did something else. I got dirty pond. I wanted to separate it with moss. And what I mean, my pile is getting higher. What I mean by that is there's this little empty spot right here since I didn't push it all the way in. Um, but I want to make sure that the tree fern fiber doesn't spill out of the bottom. So I'm going to just pack the very bottom with moss as sort of like a barrier. All right. So. There is the strap for the bottom. Oh my gosh. 
gosh. I'm in pain. I'm in pain. I'm in writhing pain. It's escalating very quickly and I still have to clean up. So we're going to call it a day or night. And um, I will see you guys in the morning. We have a lot to do. Hopefully I am motivated. I'm trying to not take... Ah, oh, I put way too much. <laughs> this is what happens when I talk and do anything. Dang it. musty but yeah I think that I, it's gonna be much happier on this poll opposed to that situation that it was on before um, finally out of moss I'm surprised it's even been doing as well as it has been in moss um, feeling good about everyone else that I repotted today there's still I can still see maybe like four plants that need to be repotted in there but I would like to take you along so we're gonna table this tomorrow, even if it means this is the only thing I do tomorrow. Um, I might skip filming watering since, I don't know, I feel like I've shown so many watering days on my to-do, like my week ofs, that it just really looks the same. It's just a time lapse of me going around watering everyone. Um, and I think these repots have a tiny bit more substance than that, so. Anyway, um, good night and I will see you tomorrow. Oh. Hey guys, so obviously today is not Sunday, it's Monday and I had probably the most insane day of my life on Sunday. I feel like my, I feel like I'm living in a new alternate reality of my life um felt like i was dreaming just yeah like my world sort of got flipped upside down and this won't be the end of it um i feel like it's gonna be a long road from here so yeah spent yesterday just crying my eyes out and sleeping and just feeling everything. Um, I spent probably four hours this morning icing my face because I looked like a puffer fish. My eyes still hurt quite a bit. Um, I feel like they're like on fire. I never cry. I'm not even joking. You guys can ask my husband, my sisters, my mom. I do not cry. Um, I just don't know why. I just don't. I just don't do it. But yesterday I probably cried more than I ever have in my entire 32 years of life, including when I was a baby. My um, throat hurts, I don't know why, but all that to say, <laughs> didn't film yesterday, of course. Was honestly just gonna cut the week of since it's getting pretty long now, but I didn't wanna just leave you guys high and dry. And I do still have a few things I wanna do. I'm not going to get through the rest of the things on my to-do list this week, just because this week is gonna be, I don't even know if I'm going to be posting um, again on Saturday. I, I just, it really just depends. So anyway, all that to say, um, I'm back, but the mood is a lot, I don't know. I'm like down here, you guys, emotionally. Like I'm just so mentally exhausted, but things have to get done. And I also have to take Pudge to a vet appointment um, in a couple hours. So I do just want to get this out of the way. Um, I was going to do watering, I was going to do Hoya treatment, I was going to do like the Azimax treatment on my Hoyas. Um, I wanted to get my Philodendron SP Fuzzy Petiole onto a pole, but these things will all have to be tabled for different videos. Um, so today, I think the only thing I'm going to do, um, this is a little bit too ambitious for my energy levels right now, this is my Philodendron El Choco Red that has been in this crazy situation for a while. I'm just gonna water that and call it a day. But I do wanna get this, um, I always forget the name of this. It's not a philodendron rubrosinctum platinum. This is my philodendron rubrosinctum platinum. <laughs> I can't remember, 
paper. I'll just throw up the name on the screen. I do want to get this out of moss because it's ready and it dries out so fast. I would like to get it on a proper pole. Um, I want to give a little bit of love to my anthurium pendants. I actually quite like this plant once it matures and I just feel like we would be a little bit closer to what it's supposed to look like if it has not been in that situation. Oh my gosh, my throat hurts. I have been sort of socializing a lot more in the last few weeks and I'm really hoping I'm not actually sick with you know what, but it hurts so bad. So, okay, I'll do these two and then I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna repot this Gloriosa. I do have several plants on this table Honestly, I think I'm going to save it for just when I'm on my own or just for another video. I, I'm kind of ready to wrap this up, not going to lie. So anyway, sorry to end this week up on such, on such a dampening, 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 on such a somber note, but I, you know, life. So before we get really messy here, I just want to show you what the Burly Marks fantasy looks like now. She still looks really sad, but she is actually perkier than she was before. Um, but it's not great. It's, it doesn't look, it doesn't look great. It's gonna be it's gonna be a very 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 cheap sell. So I'm actually gonna leave it in here for I think one more day and try and find an even warmer spot for it, and then I will chop it into single nodes, get it into a, a Tupperware, and then I don't know, sell it for like five bucks. We'll see. So okay, that is out of the way. Which one do I want to do first? Let's do this guy first. I probably should have watered this first so that it's easier to remove the moss. Oh, it's kind of, it's kind of, um, damp. I think Alice must have watered this one, I think. So this is a Philodendron Gloriosum. I don't know which form. I believe this is the one that I got from my sister. And if I had to take a very uneducated guess, I'm thinking white veins, possibly. This looks really good. I actually think I'm gonna do soil. I quite enjoy um, growing my gloriosums in soil, uh, but the question is which vessel? It's always the, it's always the question. Um, looks like the stem is going this way. I guess I could chop off the stem because it's taking up this whole vessel and ideally I would like to get this on one side of the pot so it can crawl. So I guess we are chopping. Um, the thing is, is it's a very, very short stem. So how about I just chop here? Don't judge my scissor. I still haven't gotten shears. And then I'll cut on the other side here. It's gonna go flying. Okay, so now I have a much smaller chunk, and then I can sort of push it to one side. She's in. I am going to let everything sort of dry up a little bit and I'll probably give this some water in about an hour. But for now, she's good. She's sort of at this end of the pot so that she can crawl that way. And maybe in about four or five weeks, I'll probably have to get her out of there. So the next one here is the one for, I don't know why I can't remember the name of this one. It's like actually, um, surprising me that it's just escaped me. This one's just on one of the old lazy poles and it's worked just fine. It rooted into it, it rehabbed well.
Not the cleanest roots, but um, good enough for me, truly. Stem is very long. I'm not going to be chopping because I don't have time for another chunky chunk. Um, I need a pole and a vessel and my pond. There's a very small part of me that sort of wants to experiment with a Lekka pole. I have never done a Lekka pole before. I have lots of Lekka. And I am doing passive hydro, so why not? Let's just do it. Got nothing to lose. Ideally, I would love to use Ina's pond, but I am too lazy to wash it right now, so I'm going to do that all in a big batch when I'm feeling alive. And I'll do it for another repot chat. I'm going to already stick these aerial roots into the pole. And I'm gonna film them. Okay, what I'm gonna do is just grab a strap. I'm not going to secure it super tight like I normally would, but I am going to pack this slightly looser strap with more pond. Just because there are um, roots that are exposed that I'd like to get covered so that they don't dry out. So, that is pushed up nice and tight. So actually, this feels pretty good. Now I'm gonna fill with Lekka. This is very exciting. I hope it doesn't fall out though. All right, here we go. It's a Lekka pole. Interesting. Okay, well, I'm, I'm kind of feeling it. There's a lot of gaps, though. Um, they're like, ah, oh, they're falling out. I feel like once all the big ones sort of fall forward, it'll be a lot better. But yeah, there's some gaps that I want to fill. Go there, and go here. Those are good. You want to make sure they're touching so that it can wick upward. Because if there's too many gaps, then it won't work. I gotta get some of these big fat chunky ones like this up in the front to cover these holes. I guess if I separated it into like a larger grade and then with medium grade, it would be totally fine. But I do have some really, really tiny ones in there. Okay, so now I'm going to water her. I've concocted more of that TPS liquid soil and liquid gold leaf. And I'm gonna water from the top just to make sure all that LECA gets wet. And then I'm gonna water down here where the roots are. Yep, 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 I like it. All right, so here she is. Um, hopefully she enjoys this LECA pole. I've never done this before. Um, the one from North Shore Tropicals works really well with it and I guess we'll see how it goes. I mean, I feel like this would be much easier to maintain than a moss pole. Honestly, if I could just stop using moss altogether, that would be a dream come true. Oh, it's messy. It's just in the cards for me. I just am a messy 
crazy, silly, goofy girl. Oh my gosh, this Kempo keeps freaking falling. I think the next one I'm going to tackle finally is this freaking Pendens. Um, I don't even know what this is. It's like pond at the bottom, moss at the top. Like, what is she doing? Oh, the roots are really juicy though. I was not expecting that whatsoever. Like, look at all these juicy, delicious roots coming in. I have severely neglected this thing. When I tell you severely, I mean severely. Like at one point, I didn't even know where she was. I thought she had died or I'd gotten rid of her. And then one day she appeared and I was like, oh, <laughs> you're still here. <sighs> Originally, I wanted to do pawn, but now I'm kind of thinking maybe I could do like Orchiata and just Orchiata, like pure Orchiata. I don't know why I'm feeling spicy today. I think it's because I'm like mentally unstable right now, not thinking straight. Um, I mean, I could do pond. I've never attempted to grow this purely in pond, and all of these nice juicy roots happen right above this substrate. So, you know what, Sherman? Let's just not overcomplicate things. We're gonna do pot. This one will get a glass vessel since it's gonna be living on the shelf. And like I mentioned, I'm trying to reserve my glassware for plants that are seen and then um, plastic pots for the plants in my tent. Pest inspection. Honestly, I should probably give this a little wipe down before or a little wash down before I get it potted. Give me one second. That was my reminder that, whoa, that um, someone had DM'd me and it was like so random that I even checked my DMs because I like never check my DMs anymore. And it was like in my message requests. Um, she said her mom watches my YouTube channel all the time and um, it's her birthday today. So she asked if I could send a quick happy birthday video. Louie, okay. I'm gonna mute myself and then I'm um, gonna record this video for her. <laughs> I think I did it, and I'm sweating, you guys. Sweating, sweating. But that was so special that she would even ask me to be part of her mom's birthday gift. Me? What? What? All right, you guys. Well, that is all I have in me for today. Um, it has been a very long week of to-dos. Didn't really get to do everything I wanted to do, but given that a wrench has been thrown, in my path of life um we're just working with it so i hope this week was a good one um uh, hope i didn't bore you guys i don't even remember what i did this week to be honest thank you so much for everyone who sticks with me during these insanely long videos i'm so glad that some of you guys really enjoy it and enjoy watching it while you guys do your own plant to do's uh, this series has become very very special to me and it's one that I actually look forward to filming every month It is very very exhausting, but I do enjoy it. Um, so thank you for being here Thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you for watching every week. If you liked it Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it helps Pudge out. I can never get it right the first time if you liked it Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it helps Pudge and I a lot on YouTube we love you so much, and we will see you in the next one.